So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back at it again on my block with another hood classic. So this time Adam thinks it's wise to disrespect the North Daniels. Now, many people believe that by bringing up that, that NK that he was trying to go after he was trying to go after the blacks and start, you know, some racial tension there. But what people are overlooking is the fact that he's playing people against their enemies no matter what. Now, I was asked the other day about Lefty Gunplay. Let me just lay it all out. One, as a rapper, I listened to two songs and I couldn't get through the first verse of either. It's not impressive. It's corny. He's doing too much. He's trying too hard. He's, he's just too full of himself. His, his ego doesn't match the reality. The reality of him being an ignoramus who was so easily played into a trap. Now, I said this about everyone going there. That they're nothing but culture vultures for going there. And they ain't no different than the pedophile that they're sitting across from. There's allegations about that against him. Allegations are good enough for anyone to turn their back on a pedophile. But it seems that those who are clout chasing just like him, they have no problem with it. There are very few exceptions that are notable for what they do when they go there. But not one to date has ever addressed that. And what do they do? They go on there like this clown, sit there and get baited into a disrespectful conversation. Now, once again, Adam disrespected the North Daniels by doing that and his attempt to disrespect the blacks by doing that. It is a vain attempt at, at, by Adam 22. Well, it's not vain when he got this idiot to turn around and disrespect the North Daniels like that. It's a disrespectful platform, and that's what you can expect to get on there. You can expect for him to disrespect you by bringing up such disrespectful content, clickbait. It's for the click, so it's clickbait. And all of these idiots keep going on there biting. This fool wants credit for throwing his fucking life away because he was in the fucking shoe when he was whatever. Dude, I was there 18. Matter of fact, I was 17 locked down as an, an adult prison system here. 18 SMU, which Special Management Unit 1 was built before the shoe in Pelican Bay. They got, they got the blueprints from here. But that ain't impressive. That don't make me nothing because I was, in, I was in the shoe at 18, 19 years old and did it again. You know, I spent years in that place. That ain't impressive. What does that make me? If my father, if my father, if my father uh, uh, has millions and he lives in Florida and I could have been raised somewhere else doing something else, but instead I choose the most, the most destructive path that I can take and then want to turn around and promote that same destruction. Promote that same death and destruction at his own face. At his own kind and think that that's cool? That you, you deserve some credit for that? No, you, you get the credit you deserve for it. For, for you saying kill them, kill you. For all the killing you want to do, kill you instead. Since you were led there by that devil deceitfully to play you like the fool that you are. An eye for an eye, little buddy. So how about what you said, we wish it all upon you first. Lefty gunplay, K. Lefty gunplay, K. How about that? At the end of the day, lefty gunplay, K, because that's what you inspire to do, right? No, you don't have sense enough to know that if you would have if you would have if you would have stayed in school, went to college, got a job and all this other shit, by the time you were 29 years old, you could have easily been a millionaire legitimately and never threw your life away because there are many people who do it. So you sound stupid trying to sell us 
on the idea that it's better to go to prison, sacrifice your life, throw your life away using drugs. Because now you get to go on, on a pedophile show and prove yourself to the world that you're a clown? Because that's all that happened, buddy. That's all you fools are doing. You call that gangster? You look gay. At the end of the day, you do look gay, dude. You're playing a hype man for who and what, because that's what you are. All of these rappers coming out there hyping this shit up, you ain't nothing but hype man for who and for what. Who you paying? Because that's one thing for certain in the South. The Sudanians are getting taxed, so who you paying? Trying to act all tough. You know, damn why you couldn't be there if you weren't getting extorted. You had to pay. Well, that shit ain't, that shit ain't, that shit ain't impressive to say you're that. It just proves your ignorance. Everything you said proves your own ignorance. It was better to throw your life away, to sacrifice your life and your liberty to fucking, so that you can be able to come out later and rap about it and fucking brag and boast about throwing your fucking life away and promote the idea that kids should throw their life away because you got a better chance of making it. That's the idiotic shit that you said, stupid. That's exactly what the fuck you're trying to sell us on. Get the fuck out of here now. These ignorant motherfuckers trying to come on in with their gay ass gangster looking stupid. Fool, your father's fucking worth millions. You could have easily been raised somewhere else and did something and been worth millions legitimately by now, you fucking dumb fuck. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're a pedophile too for going over there playing footies with him, trying to impress him. But you're over there trying to impress a pedophile. There's allegations against him. There's pictures of him doing it. He produced that, that, that fucking, that content of a 16-year-old that you're going over there trying to impress. I Man, you ain't, ain't nothing you said impressive. I'm going to leave you with that. Peace. I'm out.